Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your July 2021 astrology and tarot reading. Ow, I just hit my foot. Sagittarius, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for regular updates. If you'd like a private reading with me, the information is linked below. So these are the notes I have for you, astrologically speaking, Sagittarius, in July 2021. Seeking intimacy, allowing closeness, opening up to closeness. Seeking expansion, where you're going to commit new horizons and news surrounding communication, siblings and neighbours. Maybe you're getting some new neighbours, maybe there's a move in your neighbourhood that's quite significant around the end of the month, maybe there's some big news regarding your siblings. Um, but we do have a big theme going on for you this month, Sagittarius, in terms of closeness and intimacy. That's because we have a beautiful new moon that's going to be positively impacting your family sector as well as your work sector. So there is this sense of closeness to people in your life, maybe forging better relationships with your family members. Maybe there's some kind of healing or breakthrough there. Maybe there's some psychological breakthrough in terms of your health and your fitness and your well-being, and you're seeing how that's all linking up to your inner world, how that's all linking up to your relationships even. Um, but for some of you, there is for sure a new relationship on the horizon or a new commitment or a decision on whether to make maybe a casual relationship more significant. And maybe with this new moon in Cancer that's coming up for a lot of you, this is going to draw in something quite serious for you, or it's going to bring up um, new financial plans for you. Maybe you're investing in something financially. But there is also a conjunction happening with Mars and Venus in Leo. And this is going to make you really want to travel, really want to expand your horizons. There could be a beautiful opportunity to travel. There could be an educational opportunity coming up for you. There could be graduation. There could be good news surrounding your academic affairs. There could be interesting news for you if you work in politics or law. Um, it could be good, by the way. If you're involved in legal issues as well, there could be a breakthrough coming there. Now, the first week, I just want you to be aware though, Sagittarius, the first week is quite tough. There's a T-square going on. And for you, this is going to be impacting your sector of um, all things. Uh, I suppose it is It is going to affect your, your taxes, your loans, your emotional intimacy as well, your financial resources, shared resources where you're sharing material things with somebody else. There could be friction there from neighbours through uh, miscommunication. There could be friction in work as well. But these blocks are going to be lifted after these T-squares because um, Uranus is happening. Uranus in this T-square is happening to be, it ha happens to be uh, in your sector of health and well-being. So the more you focus on what makes you feel well and emotionally settled and mentally settled and physically good, uh, the more you can probably, you know, prov provided you're not pushing yourself too hard with Mars there, the more you can feel at peace with the challenges around you. Exercise will be a good release for you. Uh, one of the things that did pop out there was the, the messenger of water. This is the Knight of Cups. So love could be on the horizon for some of you. Maybe a new relationship. Maybe there's a date on the horizon, maybe somebody kind of ticks all the boxes. You could have a declaration of love. There could be someone who's got their eye on you, Sagittarius. That could really look quite exciting or there could be a feeling of falling in love in a current relationship if you're in one. And I like the Knight of Cups a lot as a card. It typically indicates good feelings in your romantic life. But also it can indicate news of other people in your family, for example, because that new moon in Cancer is happening uh, in the eighth house and it's linked to your family sector. With that Knight of Cups, maybe you have someone in your family is pregnant and is giving birth soon, or you hear news of a pregnancy, or you hear news of an engagement or something like this, but it could also be linked to you. So let's have a little nosy at your cards. Ooh, Ten of Swords <laughs> to begin the reading. Four of Pentacles, interesting. We have the Hierophant. Wedding bells are ringing for some of you. The Queen of Fire and <laughs> Judgment. Amazing, Sagittarius. There's some big decisions going on for you at the moment. I like it. Okay, so ooh, there's big news this month. I have to be honest with you, there's big news. You're going to be hearing something big. That full moon in Aquarius is the first of two consecutive full moons in your sector that rules news, that rules information. So a lot of you could be getting really interesting news surrounding, as I say, engagements, commitments, 
Um, some of you, believe it or not, with that Venus Mars conjunction, some of you could be having a religious or spiritual calling, or some of you could be coming really aware of your purpose or the next big thing in your life that you want to pour yourself into, maybe to do with religion. Maybe some of you are finding a lot of peace at a church that you would never have thought you'd go to. Maybe some of you are having a bit of an awakening there. Maybe some of you are waiting for a literal judgment call in a legal matter. Let's see what's underneath. The chariot, that's brilliant, that's success. In fact, huh, the call came with the four of wands, that's fantastic. And the wheel of fortune, Sagittarius, this is fabulous, I love this. Some of you are getting really good news surrounding your family, okay? Someone in your family, but some of you are also, I do think for some of you there's definitely an engagement news of an engagement or maybe you're going to a wedding where there's going to be somebody there that changes your path or you're you're meeting somebody through a neighbor or you're meeting somebody through a friend for example that could be a big part of your emotional life going forward that's something that's coming up but there seems to be big news with that full moon at the end of the month in Aquarius judgment is renewal you're feeling revitalized maybe some of you are getting a really positive letter a really positive text message a phone call oh there just seems to be something really exciting for you Sagittarius with the four of wands and the, the wheel of fortune and my ear has just started ringing really badly <laughs> ah I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign I don't know what it is if anybody knows what ringing ears means because mine has just started ringing um let me know it could obviously just be tinnitus but with the Queen of Wands in the challenge position, Sagittarius, I do feel you could feel a little bit of resistance maybe to getting close to other people because the call card is actually ruled by Pluto, which rules the eighth house. So the eighth house energy, which we're experiencing for you guys with cancer season, you will feel more drawn to intimacy, but you might also be aware of where you have some blocks there. But that new moon in cancer seems to be opening you up to closeness, inviting you to invite some closeness and intimacy and sharing into your life. But with the judgment and the four of wands, I do think there's news surrounding family, maybe surrounding your children. Uh, this can be because Jupiter, oh yes, of course. Where did my astrological brain go? Four of wands and the way of fortune. Jupiter is in Pisces for the remainder of the month. It will retrograde back into Aquarius at the very end. Uh, but this is going to bring you some kind of blessing in your home, in your family, with your children that I think is going to be quite significant to you. It's also possible, I have to say, that Jupiter can sometimes exacerbate these areas and really highlight any issues or any tensions. But I think for you, Sagittarius, a lot of this is going to be a release. And I also think for some of you, because we're moving away from the Mercury-Neptune squares of your family and your relationships, a lot of you are finally ready to introduce someone to your family um, or some of you are ready to merge families or some of you are ready to finally ready to go into your relationship after maybe divorce is what could be coming up for some of you. With that Ten of Swords there in the, the past part, I do feel like a lot of you have closed a chapter that was very painful for you. And also some of you are, I think with that Ten of Swords, possibly seeking to elongate and stretch the spine. Some of you are having issues with the back and I think you could be seeking a chiropractor or you could be seeking yoga or some way, to, maybe massage as well, maybe Reiki healing, a way to feel more relaxed because I think some of you are carrying a lot of tension in your back, especially in the first week of the month and there might also be a sign to go easy on your back uh, because sometimes that tension can make you more susceptible to injury so what just with Uranus being in your sixth house be careful about that don't do anything too impulsive and as far as health goes in the first week of the month so the higher in the positive position some of you are going to be making big commitments either to a new way of practicing faith a new way of dealing with relationships, maybe you're committing to a relationship, maybe with a Taurus, maybe with a Taurus, maybe with a Scorpio, maybe with a Cancer. But I'm seeing an improvement in your family relationship, Sagittarius, particularly because 
the Cancerian energy, the sun, the new moon and Mercury are all going to be trining your family sector with Neptune and Jupiter, Jupiter being your ruler, meaning that it's bringing you some blessings and a taste as well of what to what is to come next year, where you're going to feel a lot of positive luck in terms of the family. So there maybe is a taste this month of what's going to be happening next year. So that is something that's really beautiful for you, Sagittarius. I have to say, I really like this. Judgment's fascinating because there's also, you know, this sense of renewal for you, feeling revitalized, feeling like you want to move to the next phase, feeling excited, feeling brave as well. Because we just had the Bridget card pop out that says, don't back down, stand up for what you believe is right. So with the Queen of Wands here, I feel like that's you feeling fiery again, feeling like you can stand up for something. I think with the Mars-Venus conjunction, you might be taking a political stand Oop, or a legal stand. I just had a card fall out there. What was it? Come back. It was, <laughs> it was Medicine Woman. You're a channel for divine healing power. So a lot of you are finding some healing this month too which is a beautiful thing. I think that's maybe the new moon's positive influence on Uranus. Um, it's always weird talking about Uranus in a health, a health capacity because Uranus is in your sixth house, but a lot of you could be finding some healing. Somebody could be, you could be feeling some um, positive, positive movement. I do want to say if you're dealing with legal proceedings, they seem to be going in your favor. I think with the four of wands and the, the wheel of fortune. I mean, I imagine that can only be good. If it's a judgment call with the Four of Wands, that's happiness, that's celebration, that's unity and the fortunes wheel going in your favour. So hopefully that's good for Miss Britney Spears because she is a Sagittarius. And um, hopefully that is a good omen. Um, especially with the Hierophant there. And you know, with the Queen of Wands in the challenge position, that can be where you yourself, Sagittarius, have felt restricted or trapped, which is certainly for her. I mean, even the Don't Back Down card is very much like, for Brittany. Brittany, are you watching this? <laughs> that would be so cool, but I'm sure she's not. Um, we call the Four of Wands and the Fortune's Wheel. I do feel a lot of you, your luck is changing. If you have felt a little bit down in your luck lately, Sagittarius, I do feel like it's changing. And I feel like there's a judgment call that's going to go in your favour in Cancer season that's going to help you move forward towards your goals. And I also think with that conjunction, there's going to be more freedom. There's going to be more um, opportunity to speak your truth, maybe on a political arena, maybe legally or whatever this may be the case for you, Sagittarius. But I'm going to hop into the extended and we're going to look at the different zodiac signs you can deal with this month. We're going to, um, we're going to look deeper into the energies, the astrology and stuff. So if you're interested, Sagittarius, it is linked below. As usual, if you would like a private reading with me, it's linked below as well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.